Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new video. Today I'm here with Scandal by Adrian Vega. A quick review and of course a performance right after the intro. So guys, for this effect, I will need a prediction. Keep in mind, it's here, no one will go near my prediction. For this effect, I need you to name any number, a number that we can count from these 52 cards. Just in case you don't believe me that these are 52 cards, we will count the cards at the end, so you have no question marks, right? So name any number, please. Let's say the Spectre calls out the number 45, okay? I'm gonna give the card to the spectator and ask him to deal 45 cards, which we will do right now. One, two. <music> 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. And as promised, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, exactly 52 cards used for this effect. Now keep this in mind, you could have named any number, we could have landed on any card. In this case, we ended up with the three of diamonds. And before I even started, I told you I have a prediction. I remember and my prediction just happens to be the three of diamonds. I know it's great, I know you're amazed, but here is one last thing. I believe you think that you really picked a free number, okay? You could have really named any number, but watch this. You have picked the only number that had a printed card at its position. And this is great. So guys, that was a quick demonstration of Scandal. Of course, my performance was easier to perform as I knew which number I would pick. Because of that, the starting point of the trick changed a little bit, but it is pretty much the same when you have a spider in front of you who names a number really at random, right? So, Scandal comes in this box. It is produced by Murphy's Magic. When you open it up, there is a link to the instructions and of course a fully gimmicked pack of playing cards that you can use for none other than Scandal only, right? So it's just a trick for this effect. The instructions are Murphy's Magic quality or really not like in their studio, it's like somewhere in Las Vegas, I believe. Um, I personally found it pretty easy to understand even though Adrian Vega, Viga, had a little difficult time to explain it as English is not his mother language, like me. But still, um, you could pretty much understand everything you need to know to perform Scandal. Okay? So I really have nothing to complain about the instructions at all. You get to learn almost everything you need to know. In my opinion, there was one little part that was missing, uh, which I'm gonna talk about later on in the review. Let's talk about the gimmicks, right? The gimmicks are very good quality. The method behind it is an old principle, but it is basically used for a very clever effect, okay? So the way it is used is very clever, and also the thinking behind it is also very clever, okay? I believe what really sells this to magicians is the fact that the spectator can take the pack and deal the number he or she wants him or herself on the table, okay? So the fact that the spectator handles the pack is the selling point, I suppose, for magicians. So the gimmicks are very well made, work right out of the box, you just have to watch the instructions and you're ready to go. Okay, so nothing to complain about the gimmicks either. Again, when it comes to the method, you might complain like it's a very old principle and you see that principle over and over again. However, again, the fact that it is used for such a visual effect 
and also this very creative thinking behind it. Okay, I mean, I can't really tell you what that is because that would reveal the trick. But when you first open up the box or the instructions, actually, you will get to hear what it is. I just like the idea behind it, the thinking behind it. So it's worth checking out, I suppose. Now, when you have Scandal and watched instructions, you are ready to perform it. But a few things have to be said before you purchase it. When the spectator names a number, there are certain numbers that work perfectly, where you have to do really nothing. The spectator takes out the cards out of the box and deals the cards and you are really ready to go. There are certain numbers where the outcome of the effect or like the handling, so to say, of the effect chains very slightly. There are certain numbers where you have to do a very little secret move at the beginning and there are certain numbers that don't work. These are just a very small amount of numbers that do not work. However, you get to learn how you can make this pack and not pick these numbers. Okay, so keep that in mind. I believe a very important tip before you purchase this. Other than that, also keep in mind this is not an ACAAN, this is a CAAN. So card at any number and not any card at any number. So the card the spectator picks, right, will always be the same. So it's gonna be pretty difficult for you to perform it at a table where you have five spectators and if you want to perform it again, it probably won't work unless you have a second scandal deck with a different outcome, right? Also very important to mention the reset time. The reset time is not something that you can do very quickly. It is best to be alone when you do it and have a little bit of time because if you reset it uh, like very quickly, if you're like in a rush, there is a chance that you do something wrong, which is going to destroy the whole effect as you will flash something. Keep that in mind. The reset time is like around probably 40 seconds if you're alone. Okay. That's that. As I've mentioned at the beginning, I personally thought that there was missing a little part, a little tip in the instructions, okay? I contacted Titanus regarding that. I got a tip from him. However, I really believe this should have been a part of the instructions, okay? Which is, if the spectator picks like a high number and deals those cards, there is a certain thing, an open secret move, so to say, that you have to do in front of the spectator. And unless the spectator does not pick a very small number, that secret move, that open thing you do, looks very natural, no problem with it at all. But if the spectator picks a very little number, like 10, 11, 12, that open thing that you have to do in front of the spectators, turns, in my opinion, to a very unnatural move. Doesn't make sense, doesn't really look good, okay? And I would have loved to hear how you can turn that awkward situation, that awkward part, into like a natural thing that you can do once a spider has dealt those 10, 11 cards, right? And that part was really missing, in my opinion, in the instructions. Titanus had a very good idea, I liked it, maybe it should have belonged to the instructional parts. Okay, that's the only thing I felt was missing in the instructions. I'm not sure if you will feel the same, but it's just a personal opinion, as always. I believe this deck will last you a pretty long time. It's not an effect that you will perform multiple times at a gig um, or at a performance. It will be just a pack of playing cards used for scandal only, so it will last you longer than a regular pack of playing cards. However, of course, with time, the effectiveness of the gimmicks might disappear, vanish, then you need to buy a second deck. However, this will last you a very long time. Don't really see that as a problem. Other than that, I believe I covered everything. A slightly longer reset time, very well made gimmicks, very visual effect. It can be used only for this effect only. It is a card at any number, so the outcome is always the same. Depending on your deck, the card is always a different card. So I just wanted to recap what I mentioned in this video. 
Other than that, a very nice visual effect. I believe it is around $30. You can get it at any Murphy's Magic dealer, one of them being testmatsalbatikel.de. The link is in the description box below. But that was it. Scandal by Adrian Vega. Vega. If you like it, go ahead, check it out. It's probably worth checking it out. That's it. I'll see you next time.